Ultraviolet astronomy is the observation of electromagnetic radiation at ultraviolet wavelengths between approximately 10 and 320 nanometers. Shorter wavelengths higher energy photons are studied by X ray astronomy and gamma ray astronomy. Ultraviolet light is not visible to the human eye. Most of the light at these wavelengths is absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere, so observations at these wavelengths must be performed from the upper atmosphere or from space. Overview Ultraviolet line spectrum measurements spectroscopy are used to discern the chemical composition, densities, and temperatures of the interstellar medium, and the temperature and composition of hot young stars. UV observations can also provide essential information about the evolution of galaxies. The ultraviolet universe looks quite different from the familiar stars and galaxies seen in visible light. Most stars are actually relatively cool objects emitting much of their electromagnetic radiation in the visible or near-infrared part of the spectrum. Ultraviolet radiation is the signature of hotter objects, typically in the early and late stages of their evolution. In the Earth's sky seen in ultraviolet light, most stars would fade in prominence. Some very young massive stars and some very old stars and galaxies, growing hotter and producing higher energy radiation near their birth or death, would be visible. Clouds of gas and dust would block the vision in many directions along the Milky Way. Space-based solar observatories such as SDO and SOHO use ultraviolet telescopes called IA and EIT, respectively, to view activity on the Sun and its corona. Weather satellites such as the GOES-R series also carry telescopes for observing the Sun in ultraviolet. The Hubble Space Telescope and FUSE have been the most recent major space telescopes to view the near and far UV spectrum of the sky, though other UV instruments have flown on smaller observatories such as GALAX, as well as sounding rockets and the Space Shuttle. Charles Stuart Bowyer is generally given credit for starting this field. Topic ultraviolet space telescopes, FAR Ultraviolet Camera, Spectrograph on Apollo 16 April 1972 plus ESRO, TD-1A 135-286 nm, 1972 74 Orbiting Astronomical Observatory number 2-1968-73, number 3-1972-81 Orion 1 and Orion 2 Space Observatories number 1 to 200 minus 380 nanometers 1971 number 2 to 200 minus 300 nanometers 1973 plus astronomical Netherlands satellite 150 to 330 nanometers 1974 to 76 plus international ultraviolet explorer 115 to 320 nanometers 1978 to 96 astron 1 150 to 350 nanometers 1983 to 89 Lazar 1 and 2 on Mir in KVANT 1 1987 to 2001 EUVE 7 to 76 nanometers 1992 to 2001 Fuse 90.5 to 119.5 nanometers 1999 to 2007 plus extreme ultraviolet imaging telescope on SOHO imaging sun at 17.1 19.5 28.4 and 30.4 nanometers plus Hubble space telescope Hubble STIS 199 7-115-1030-NM Hubble WFC 32009-200-1700 NM Swift Gamma Ray Burst Mission 170 to 650 nanometers 2004 Hopkins Ultraviolet Telescope flew in 1990 and 1995 ROSAT XUV 17 to 210 electron volts 30 to 6 nanometers 1990 to 1999 Far Ultraviolet Spectroscopic Explorer 1999 to 2007 Galaxy Evolution Explorer 2003 to 2012 Hisaki 130 to 530 nanometers 2013 Lunar Based Ultraviolet Telescope LUT on Chang'e 3 Lunar Lander 245 to 340 nanometers 2013 Astrosat 130 to 530 nanometers 2015 Public Telescope PST 100 to 180 nanometers Launch Plan 2019 Waypoint 1 SpaceFab US 200 to 950 nanometers EMCCD launch plan 2019 see also list of ultraviolet space telescopes topic 
Ultraviolet instruments on planetary spacecraft UVIS Cassini at Saturn from 2004 to 2017 MASCS Messenger 2004 at Mercury from 2011 to 2015 Alice New Horizons 2006 Pluto flyby in 2015 UVS Juno 2011 at Jupiter since 2016 IUVS Maven 2013 at Mars since 2014 Topic See also Markarian galaxies, a galaxy with a nucleus emitting exceptionally large amounts of ultraviolet P galaxy, possibly a type of luminous blue compact galaxy which is undergoing very high rates of star formation